I've been doing the SG camp for a long time, um, since the first year that it started. We were in Switzerland and every year it's a really special experience. It, you develop uh, new friendships, friendships that have now lasted six years, seven years, and uh, it's just a really special experience to come after a com competition season and uh, just enjoy riding and get back to the reason why we do it and the feeling of the carve and laughing and having beers and having fun with a bunch of really, really good people. From the start, however many years ago to now, there's been countless turns, turns that I can't even remember, but the experiences with the people are something that I'll never forget. And it's something really special. When I look at snowboarding, good riding is based in fundamentals. And of course, when you come to a camp like the SG camp, the whole goal to, is to learn from some of the best riders in the world and some really good coaches as well. But outside of improving your technique and learning new ways to ride, you come away with friendships and memories and these are the things that will continue to enrich your life. And you create a community of carvers. And now with everyone locked into their phones and locked into uh, social media, it's very hard to be social. And you come here and you have three great days with fantastic people that share a common bond over the carve and, and surrounding just the love of riding and that's a really special place. There's no ego, there's no who's better, there's no, if, it doesn't matter if you're an expert or if you're just beginning, it's the thing that you take away from this camp is a smile and a sense of community. And it's very hard to find that these days with technology and also with the, with the carving board. When I was a kid, I saw my first snowboarder come out of the trees and the way that he moved versus the skiers that he was surrounded by, because it was one snowboarder on a, on a whole uh, slope filled with skiers and he came out and the way that he moved was with a, a, an, art, an art. There was a line, a single line, a beauty to that, a simplicity and I will never forget that. Coming here and being able to teach people and to empower them to, to make that same line and to join them in making my own lines, that's snowboarding. It's, it comes down to community and sensation and the feeling that you get. And the feeling that you get carving a snowboard of this load where all of the energy is at the top and it's all compressed into this small moment and then it releases and it carries you to the next turn and there's this moment of weightlessness where you roll it over and you don't know if it's going to bite and then it loads up again and you just continue with this energy and it goes down and down and down uh, that's something that uh, it's in my blood that it'll never go away and it's really a joy to, to be able to share that with other people. Because snowboarding has so few people that um, pursue the art of the turn. And for me, that's where, that's where snowboarding is. It's a beautiful feeling.